Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm vlogging today on this channel, so hi, welcome to the vlog. So today is a really exciting day for me and I'm a bit nervous. I am donating blood. I'm here with my husband Dean. We are on our way to donate blood. I have never done it before and like, I've always said, you know, oh I can't do it, like I'm too, I hate needles, I'm scared. But Dean said that he was gonna do it. This is his second time and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do it too. So I made the appointment about two weeks ago, I think. They sent a message confirming and then they had a call confirming and then I think I've received two other text messages confirming the appointment and maybe even an email. So they really, really are keen to get everyone on board who books in and make sure that they come in. They're also really keen to spread the message that donating blood will save three lives, which is, it's just amazing. It's such a good thing that you can donate blood and save someone else's life. Like, you know, depending on how long it takes you to uh, donate your blood, some people it takes like five minutes and they can save three lives. Like, that's crazy. So I thought I would vlog it and show you guys that it's really not as scary as it seems and promote the message of help save a life. And I'll let you know, like, every little thing that I went through and everything. Um, I've made sure that I have been drinking a lot of water and I've had food and everything. They like to make sure that you are very hydrated. Um, it helps with the blood circulation as well. It helps them get into your veins better. So that's just a key message that they like to make sure that you drink lots of water before you go. Okay, well, I'll see you in there. Okay, so I just got here, filled out a whole bunch of paperwork, and now I am waiting to have my interview. I don't know, I think they just go through the form with you. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the process so far. You've just got to show an ID. So I just brought my license, and they just ask you to confirm a few things. Okay, so I am actually all done. I just have a bandage on my arm now, and that was so easy, guys. Like, honestly, it was so easy. Yeah, okay, you have a little prick that last 10 seconds if that and one when the needle comes out but honestly it took nearly 11 minutes for me to donate Dean took like eight minutes I don't see why <laughs> most people can't do this obviously there's reasons why a lot of people can't do it but honestly very very easy so now I'm just gonna sit here and relax for a bit and um, they'd like you to stay around for a little bit after you're done just to make sure that there's you know, no reactions or you don't faint or anything like that so that's yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So this is Dean's selection of, of food. He's just got some more cheese, pickies, cheese. He had a iced strawberry milk and a few other little bits and pieces. How'd you go? Yeah. Okay, so I've just had some cheese and just sat here for a little bit and I think I'm feeling, I feel normal. I feel completely fine. So we're gonna head off and head home. Like it hasn't affected me whatsoever, so it's really good. Okay guys, so I am back home and I just wanted to share my experience with you guys and tell you how it all went from start to finish. But booking in was super easy. You had to confirm a few things over the phone and that was really easy. And then you just rock up, fill out some forms and then you go into an interview room and you have a one-on-one -on -one interview and you go through your forms. I personally had, there were a few things that you needed to go over. I mentioned about the rash that I've had on my hand over the last couple of weeks, but that turned out to not be an issue. I took some Nurofen the other day, so I mentioned that, which wasn't an issue. They also ask you where, what countries you've been in the last three years. Be prepared that they might ask you for timelines and different countries that you've been to and just have knowledge of that because I wasn't too sure about when we went on um, a trip. It was the year that we got married 
married, but we went to uh, Europe and the US and everything like that, but it's been over three years, uh, just by a few months. So we went through that, and then she did a little blood test where they prick your finger and they test your blood for iron levels and make sure that that's okay because they explained that you can't donate obviously if your iron is too low but also if it's too high and they also do a blood pressure test I believe that they wrote it down on a sheet actually that I would have with me um, and then I got a sticker saying that it's my first time that I'm donating more so that the staff are aware that it's your first time and they can answer any questions and tell you what's about to happen and what's about to come and just so that you're more informed of the process and everything like that so then after the interview I went and I got a drink of water because I just felt like I needed another water and I went to the toilet because I've been drinking a lot of water um, and then I went and sat down in my chair I'll show you the chair so um, what they do is they lay it back and they put you up and you know it's it's really comfortable um, and then they put the cuff around your arm and they give you a squeegee thing and that um, is meant to make all the with the veins pop up and um, I personally had a little bit of trouble finding veins <laughs> we tried both arms um, and look they didn't stick the needle in and not find it it's just that they weren't coming to the surface we went with my left arm and they put on um, you can kind of see it there like the orange stuff it cleans the skin and then once they've done that they let it dry and then they go they put the needle in and they start taking blood um, it's honestly like the needle went in and yeah it was just like but it wasn't unbearable um, it wasn't uncomfortable it was fine it was like honestly not even 10 seconds worth of pain and it wasn't even that bad and I think for a lot of people that the needle is the scary part but I honestly didn't look um, I had Dean tell me before he's like whatever you do don't look at the needle so I didn't look um, and I think that that may have helped so if you are if that does intimidate you just don't look at the needle no big deal so my machine just started beeping after a couple of minutes and I'm like ah oh, what's wrong but they just said that if your blood is transferring under 40 three mils or 45 mils per minute it'll just have an alarm that beeps and you've just got to squeeze your squidgy thing a little bit not too hard or anything and they also did mention that you need to wiggle your toes and even clench your butt cheeks and it helps with the circulation of the blood so I did that the first time and then it stopped but then it came back on <laughs> near the end the whole time that the blood was coming out of me took just shy of 11 minutes that's nothing. Mine took a little bit longer. Dean's only took about eight minutes. And then they like you to sit there, especially if it's your first time. Um, just sit there, see how you feel. I felt completely normal, guys. Like I showed the little clip afterwards. I felt... I still feel normal like there was nothing wrong with me I didn't feel faint or anything I was expecting to feel something and I didn't feel anything and I know everyone's experience is different but I'm just I guess more so than anything I'm just so surprised that after doing it it's actually no big deal like I don't know what I was worried about so I just sat there in the chair, um, elevated for a few minutes, and then you can go to the little cafeteria that they have and you can get some goodies to eat. I just had some cheese. I was going to bring my own cheese and some salted nuts, but I forgot. But like, I didn't even really feel like I needed it, to be honest. I know Dean had a few party pies and then I showed some things that he had as well, but he's a boy. <laughs> the whole process did take about an hour and a half. So do keep that in mind if you are going to book in, um, make sure you do have you know at least an hour and a half there. We just, we just took our time with everything. There was no rush and yeah, it was fine. So then afterwards, yeah, I showed the bandage that they put on. Um, I didn't watch the needle come out, but I felt it obviously, but they ask you a question. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know when you go to the doctors or when you get a shot, they ask ask you a question just to like put off your mind and she asked me about my party coming up and I was just like oh <laughs> but it was no big deal um, it was completely fine so um, yeah if you've got any questions I'm going to leave the like a phone number and website and all information down below this isn't sponsored guys this is just me wanting to spread awareness for this and I am 
going to donate on a regular basis for sure and I think it's really nice that it's something that Dean and I go and do together as well he is going to donate plasma next time which takes a bit longer but even the lady uh, that was with me for a little bit she suggested to just come in for a few blood donations before I try the plasma especially because my veins were a little bit hard to find um, I forgot to mention that we put a heat pack on my shoulder on the other side and then underneath my arm just to bring the veins up a little bit and that did help but just make sure you drink a lot of water and you have a decent meal before you go in and it should be all good yeah just go and donate and save a couple of lives they will send out a blood donor card in the mail to me and I should get that in about a month and that'll have my blood type on it and it will also say where my blood has gone to save lives and I think that the, she said I'll get a text message as well here is the text message that I received six days after donating and I was so happy to receive this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I know it's it's quite a casual video, me just like now sitting in my kitchen talking. So definitely keep an eye out for more vlogs on my channel. Uh, they will be coming in, I don't know how often, uh, but hopefully I can um, share more so days with you. But I just really wanted to share this experience and just show you that it's really not that scary. It's not that bad. It's, it's I feel like it's all in your head. Keep that in mind and I just wanted to encourage anyone if they have a spare hour and a half, donate if you can. Obviously not everyone's able to, but if you can, it means so much. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video and share it if you like, just to show your friends how easy this is to do. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.